Alrighty guys, this is going to be a rather quick one. So, I will be showing you guys my weapon, um, like you can call it assembly or component for my 3 pound combat robot and um, I'll just start building it right now. So, the weapon hub, and I placed these M5 nuts in here already. Um, this this is PLA plus, but I'll definitely switch it out for a stronger material. Maybe AR500 or S7 tool steel. I'll figure that out later. So essentially, you want to take the spacer, put it right there, and start screwing in these um, M5 uh, screws. So yeah. Um, as I'm doing this, it's probably smart to use an Allen key, but basically I made many iterations of this, especially because I'm using limited resources. Like this literally came off of like um, a bookshelf or something like that. So my goal is to make it work with the limited resources that I have. And you can see that this thread went through, or I'm sorry, yeah, this thread went through the nut right there, and it's also going through the other side. So this entire screw is running the entire length of the weapon hub. So we can repeat this for the other three screws. Yeah. I know it's been really hard for me to document all of these videos because um, a lot of times I just want to work without filming and it really takes a lot of effort to film and edit these videos even when it's just working with this camera on top but you know because I'm a little bit lazy so that's been a little bit of a struggle so I'm doing my best to document a lot of this, but a lot of this is just undocumented. So yeah, another screw goes in, and this will be the last screw, and then this, the first side will be complete, and just like that. So now we have one side complete, simply put on the other side, and now there's obviously three more screws to be put in. Slide on the spacer and start screwing these in. Right now in Fusion 360, I'm working on pretty much finishing up the robot for just 3D printing at first because I want to run some experiments on like the shape of the weapon and that stuff for a science fair, which I'll think which I think will be pretty cool. And yeah. So many, many iterations and failed prototypes have gone. So a lot of headaches, honestly, but it's definitely worth it. Because at one point I hit that um, at one point, I just, when I started putting everything together in one big document, because I'm working on the sub-assemblies in different documents, basically, and when you put it together, I kind of almost surprised myself at how much progress I made. Alright, there we go. And that's basically it. So, essentially, this will slide through here. And you can see it's um, not the tightest fit because it's meant to be like that. And basically, because of these uh, spacers, I can throw on these threads, or sorry, nuts, that center these exactly where I want them to be. These will have to be 
tighten pretty nice and tight like that and this uh, I know it's a bit uneven but this will now be spinning with bearings and what's nice about this, this design compared to like the friction design where you just slide the weapon on and it's hard to come back off is that this thing can be replaced a lot easily uh, a lot easier than if I made it like locked onto here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you're enjoying this builder vlog and let me know any tips, tricks, or just thoughts, concerns, questions in the comments down below. And I, I read all of the comments and I'd be happy to um, interact with you through the comment section. All right, bye, thank you.